I'm Kree Sumakase from the year 2038, where AI has taken over the future. I came to you, the community, to create a CAPTCHA that would defeat AI and save the future. I am here to judge the validity of your submissions and see if the future remains intact. completely blank read me. <laughs> Why not? I'm super trusting and definitely not suspicious of URLs. This looks like something I would have made like my second day of college. Adjust the rotation and displacement of the plane to reveal a secret message. Ooh, we're getting fancy wording now. Oh, okay. That's kind of, that's kind of interesting. I feel like I'm traveling through space and back. I have a very good system for this. My system is I'm starting on one and then I'm changing the rotation all the way back and forth. And then if that doesn't work, I'm going to go to the next displacement just a little bit over. And now I'm going to change the rotation again. I see a star. Am I supposed to see a star? Maybe it's telling me that I'm a star. Maybe it's like an affirmation message. message. It's like motivational message. I see a plane. I see a bird. <laughs> I see a terrible CAPTCHA. <laughs> Remember that foolproof method I had? Where I was going to offset the displacement repeatedly and then test the rotation? That absolutely failed. Maybe the dots are telling me something. I'm just a dot on this planet. I see a spiky pig. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, okay. Something's happening. I have a new plan. It, this one is now uh foolproof i'm going to do it one letter at a time so i see it ends in zh so what are the other letters see the problem was is i was just unlucky because it looked like it was trying to spell the word verify and so i was fooled and i was led to believe something that wasn't actually true but now i have come beyond their subterfuge subterfuge yeah i've, be I've come beyond their subterfuge and I have an idea. Yes! Next submission. All right, next one. Backstory of spooky CAPTCHA. In the not so distant future, developers assigned to prevent an AI takeover devised the spooky CAPTCHA. Playful CAPTCHA inspired by Flappy Bird. I had an addiction to Flappy Bird and it was so much fun. So I am super excited for this. Please just be regular Flappy Bird. Press space to jump. Wait, you didn't let me. You literally did not even let me read the sentence before I just fell to the ground and plummeted. Okay, here we go. I got this. Wait, each one just counts as one. I thought I had to press space five times. This, like the dimensions of this are pretty crazy because I'm like this teeny tiny little pumpkin with these giant things coming by. All right, I've got the hang of this. I can keep going on for so long. You have no idea how awesome I am at Flappy Bird. So like, oh, you stopped me. I could have kept going on so much longer. I passed, but you lose like 50,000 points because I really just wanted to keep playing that entire time. I, my day is ruined and it's all your fault. Even though that was fun, it's ruined. Next. All right, next submission. The Steins Captcha is a puzzle game where you have to adjust Alternate timelines. Oh, okay. Make sure you have your sound turned up. Let's do max volume. I'm really gonna regret turning the volume up all the way. Warnings for running. If you're running this on Windows, Windows Defender <laughs> and other antiviruses will flag most Go apps as malware. Are you sure that's just not a lie? Ooh. Oh, okay. This is kind of cool. Oh my gosh. This is an entire story game. There's no way. You did not just make a story game and submit it to the 2024 Lori Wired Halloween Challenge. You'll be presented with a divergence meter in several world lines. All right, see my divergence meter, we're good. I am losing my mind right now. This, there's no way this is this is actually happening. This is amazing. Okay, so I can adjust them to different speeds and amplitudes. 
I can control different ones. This one needs to go a tiny bit down. Oh, 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 oh. And now we've got to change this to match the wave of the red. There we go, we're getting pretty close. All right, that looks synced to me, awesome. Oh, oh, we're almost there. Yes! And now we have merged our wires. Proceed to D-mail. Congratulations, you've successfully proven you're not a robot. Your ability to manipulate the world lines demonstrates a level of intuition and adaptability that AIs simply can't match. That was... Too good for this competition. <laughs> I think you've won. I, I literally think you've won this competition. Yeah, I, I don't think an AI could solve that. I had a hard time solving that. And I'm not an AI. I'm gonna need some better prizes. <laughs> Gotta have some haze from the future coming out of my time machine. And I gotta have some Dr. Pepper if I'm gonna get through this. so good. It helps you theorize. Fueled up, ready to go. Next one. All right, this is inspired by Bell Labs, some CGI demo. That's pretty cool. Now rotate the object to match the shadow. Okay, okay. Oh, whoo. Uh... Wait, there's no spike. I think I'm cutting off part of the image. <laughs> okay, that's a problem. I'm gonna have to make the screen. <laughs> you get like negative 10,000 points because I can. This is negative gold star. No, not at all. I mean, at least it keeps you on your toes and keeps you make wanting like to solve the captcha, but horrible. Next read me. Future gadget login. Try to make this process as simple as possible. Oh my gosh, thank you. This this should actually be like a secret interview process and in like the people who really actually made it possible for me to use their stuff win this system rather than the people who made like awesome captures and I'm like, where is the executable? I gave specific instructions and about 2% of people actually followed those instructions. My hopes are honestly really high right now. I really don't want to be disappointed. Whoa. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to like get my literal nose against this screen to be able to see what I'm looking for. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. The previous answer was Lori Wired underscore 4230. How in the heck did you get that from there? I didn't even see a single letter, let alone Lori Wired 4230. Ooh, there's a phone option? Oh, okay. Oh, I just got it. I'm resetting time. <gasps> that was, that was such a good reference. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, I gotta do this again. Log in, and then you get it wrong. Let's say Lori. Incorrect. I can bring up the phone, and then I can send myself back a D-mail so that I can go back and be able to solve this CAPTCHA properly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really just felt like I was actually in the show. Okay, this person wins for organization as well as the actual CAPTCHA itself as well as like the reference to the show. If you get like a million points for this one and I even get a thumbs up at the end. That's awesome. Oh, I feel so cool. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, okay. I have to be sparing in the amount of fog that I can use. I think I Okay, I have M&M's in here. I'm gonna fog my M&M's. Does that make them taste better? We're gonna find out. This is very short. Yeah. This makes me feel powerful and kind of evil. Whoa. It, it kind of 
kind of looks like my M&Ms are covered in spider webs. I don't really know if that's a plus. Mmm. <sighs> Tastes like synthetic. <laughs> <laughs> crap <-sha. gasps> A crappy CAPTCHA implementation. This guy had a chance and he took it. Kind of feel like this is corporate. By logging in and using only humans, you agree to our terms of service. This monster is not only an abomination of programming, <laughs> but also psychology and statistics. I will explain as I go. Please type in a random sequence of seven coin flips. Pick a number. Let's do seven. It's a cool number. Fill the bar by mashing key with both hands. Captcha, no, Crapcha passed. All right, for the challenge, the user has to pick a random number between zero and 10 on the slider. People pick some numbers more than others when asked to pick a random number. Some numbers like seven and 17, whoa, this guy's in my head. I literally picked the number seven, are generally considered to be lucky and picked more. This is kind of ingenious. This is actually really smart. This one, this might be one of the better ones at actually effectively telling humans versus AI apart. I mean, I'm not sure how consistent that would be, but that's pretty good. For the keyboard challenge, you're asked to mash the keyboard twice and like randomly, but he's basically assuming that everybody has their hands in pretty much the same spot which is honestly kind of ingenious. I think we need to get this person a Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize for CAPTCHAs or CRAPTCHAs. <laughs> That's gonna be the new category of Nobel Prize, the CRAPTCHA category. <laughs> and where did it come from? Came from the 2024 Lori Wired Programming Challenge. <laughs> All right, next one. Here we go. Safely keep this from the electronics. Experiment report. Ooh, intrigue. The common CAPTCHA has already been defeated by the evil organization of CERN themselves. Ooh. I really like the backstory on this one. It's really good. It's a jigsaw puzzle. The, the UI is a little um questionable. <laughs> this is my Yuri in puzzle pieces. How come I can't move this? This is a good idea in theory but in implementation, it's the worst. Oh my gosh, okay, I got her head. And I... <laughs> These should go together. This is making me obscenely infuriated because the puzzle pieces don't click properly and that should go down here, but it's not going to... So this has to be completely not on top of it. If I had a screen that was like enormous, that would be fine, but I'm stuck on this little teeny tiny screen. So you're not accounting for humans that are stuck on tiny screens. And AI has the concept of as many screens as it wants. It can think super big. I, however, am stuck on this teeny tiny laptop and I have to make this work and you're making this absolutely not work. And at this point in your application, I almost don't even want to go to your application because the CAPTCHA is too irritating but I will persevere because of who I am as a person. <laughs> or I might give up because of who I am as a person. <laughs> it feels like it took JPEGs with about two pixel resolution and just said, yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna make this into a puzzle piece image that she'll figure this out. It doesn't have to actually look like anything. Is that an opening? Is that not an opening? I don't know if that's an opening. Yeah, that looks right. This is... This is quality. Is, is this my Yuri? <laughs> We're done. Thank you everyone for your submissions. I absolutely could not believe the quality this year. If I didn't get to your submission, there were just too many to add to the video, but I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. Happy Halloween everyone, and thanks for saving the world.
Sanko, 